for the game in Iowa City. A beautiful day for a ball game. Anytime you come to Iowa City and play, I think it's now 61 degree weather. You got to be happy about that. David Boston comes out here, caught a nice out route from Joe Germain. And I'll tell you what now, they really brought the heat early in the game. You can see their, their, their defensive line, particularly number 94, was really putting heat on our quarterback. That's a pass interference penalty. That's a Kenyon Rambo, who also I thought played a good ball game for us, number four. Here's Joe throwing the ball again. That's picked off. That's number 33 right down the sideline. Uh, the wind held that pass up a little bit, but they did a nice job returning the ball back to our 10-yard line. That guy, we had not seen much of 33. He's a he's a second-team defensive back that they played a lot in this ball game. DJ Johnson is his name, and uh, then uh, Mullen fills it up with the touchdown. That's what we call a loaded option. They had number 31, the fullback, blocking the man that was re responsible for tackling the quarterback. That's a well-executed play right there, Jeff. Not the week that you want to go down 7 nothing off the start. You need but to bounce this, back. This is a key play in the game. This is Joe Montgomery, and David Boston, watch David, gets a great block. <laughs> and Joe Montgomery, no, a lot of people don't think Joe's got very good speed, but he takes it 80 big yards for a touchdown. That was, a, that was the answer to their first score. Big play in the ball game. And a 7-7 to tie at this point. A little celebration. Joe rips off 80 yards. That's the uh, first touchdown of that length. Fifth longest nine, in school history. Yeah, there come number 94. You can see uh, Joe uh, Joe Germain did a great job of evading the rush there, avoiding a the sack, and got the ball to Michael Wiley for a first down. A little draw play to Matt Keller. Matt Keller, the football player. Watch him. you talking about somebody that fights for extra yards and makes a great plays in the game. It's number 23 out of Molar High School. Nine yards to Keller. David fell down. That's a little post route. David slipped down, and their defensive back, number two, made a nice interception. And Andy Defense. Katzenmore, yeah. There's little. Andy Katzenmore, your number 45. People want to know what the, what's happened to Andy Katzenmore. There he is. Big hit, one of the big hits in the ball game. Five yards on the loss there, and then Joe Montgomery again. Joe's running north and south. He ran over number 21. They're, they're, uh, they're, that guy's a good football player, too. Free safety, three-year starter. Good play action fake by Joe Jermaine. Got the ball down the field. You see the wind holding up a little bit. David Boston ran under it. Big play. For a touchdown. 54 yards on the play, and David Boston inching closer to the thousand yard mark on the season. They were trying to play him man coverage during the ball game, Jeff, and we've said week after week after week it's almost impossible to do. 14 to 7 at that point as we head to the second quarter. Right, here they're, they're, their freshman quarterback's a pretty good football player here. He threw the ball to the wrong guy there. Now. Threw the ball to number 98, Mike Collins. Uh, Mike used to be a fullback in high school. Doesn't look like a fullback, does he? But that was, that was a key touchdown for the defense. You can see how happy they are when they celebrate in the end zone. Oh, yeah. Second week in a row, defense comes up with a touchdown. Fifth this season, a defensive touchdown. Did a nice job of the defensive line. We, got, we brought four, four, man, uh, four man rush and got good pressure. Brent Johnson and uh, Joe Brown. Again, Jerry Rosinski, Mike Collins. Mike's number 98. Jerry, of course, is a captain, number 35. Hayden's a little bit upset. 16 yards in losses on the last two plays. Good job. Uh, Throwing the ball again. What's a nice catch by D. Miller, number 15. Caught the ball in traffic. Third down play. That's, of course, a first down. Come right back again to David for, for another first down. We're moving the ball. We got to, we're going against the wind here now, so it's important to keep this, live, this drive alive. Pick up of 11. Steve, get the tight end in the action. Steve Wisniewski. They're playing his two deep secondary. Got Steve down the middle. Here's a halfback pass. Ball hung a little bit, Michael, but we'll take that. That's a nice completion. Michael Wiley to Steve Wisniewski. That drive fails. I think we fumbled the ball. And again, our, our, our pass rush. And we let him outside contain. This is, boy, this is a nice job of their freshman quarterback. Let him outside contain, and he uh, he scored their second touchdown. 12 yards. McCann goes in for the touchdown. Makes it 21 to 14. Still interesting. Didn't yeah, had him on the ropes a little bit. They're, now they're back, back in the ball game. But come on, defense, get after him. Who's that making the sack? That's number 94, Rodney Bailey making the making the sack. We get the ball down right before halftime. This is a key key drive right here. Now you can see Joe get out of this. Got the ball to Matt Keller, and again, Matt's a football player going north-south. This, this, is, this is only about 30 seconds left to go in the first half, so that's a big play in the game. That's a 26-yard pickup there, and then David Boston up top. David wide open. They, they were playing two deep secondary. David ran what we call a little post-corner post, post -corner route for an easy touchdown. That was a key touchdown right before half. All right, check out the second half highlights as Coach Cooper leads the troops onto the field with a 28 to 14 lead. Again, Jeff, it's great to see all those red fans right there. It's great to have that many fans on the road, and uh, we're going to need them next week, of course, when we play Michigan. Get the home, home crowd in the ballgame. Absolutely. There's Andy Katzmoyer getting a sack, number 45. D starting things off again. We got after him in the second half defense. But here's a little counter option. A good, good block by the fullback, and uh, again, Joe Montgomery picked up Picked up nice yard, good yard. 12 yards on the play. Montgomery's headed towards the century mark for this day. Here's a good play action fake. 
And uh, watch David Boston. You're talking about a guy that made a great catch. I didn't think there's any way he could catch that ball. You'd see him bounce on the grass. But that was that was that was the best catch I've seen David make, I believe, in his entire career. That's his record-setting 169th pass wow. catch that takes over the football. Lead. Michael protect the ball. We we blow a, an easy chance there to score a touchdown after David's big catch. And defense is going to get the ball right back to us. Come on, here we go. We're blitzing their quarterback, as you can see. And that's uh, Jerry Brzezinski, number 35. Niall Diggs, number 32, came up with a sack. Ten yards on the loss. Have to punt the ball away, and not a very good one now, here. This is a great punt return. David Boston catches the ball. Low line drive type kick. David reverses his field. You can see picks up some good blocks and takes the ball down to their 20-yard line. 22-yard line. Great to have good field, field position like that. And I'll take this in the score. Pick it up third and four again from the 16. Matt Keller. That's Matt Keller. I thought, I thought that was going to be intercepted. That's a great play by Matt Keller, number 22. Joe Germain making some plays out there as well. 35 to 14 is the score at that point. You can sense something pretty, coming uh, on for the Buckeyes. Pretty good cushion right there. Now, now we can relax and, and play a lot of young football players and, you know, and get after them. Important to do that even at this point in the season? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. We want to rest our football team as much as we possibly could and obviously not, to, not take a chance on getting anybody hurt. That's the fourth down play. Niall Diggs does a great job shooting the gap there in number 32. Well, what a great year he's had for us, Jeff. 27-yard field goal, and then Diggs seven yards on the loss yeah, there. Nice, nice job picking up the rush, and we got a lot of young football players. That's Derek Warnke in the ball game, number 81. Yeah. Mark Garcia finding him for a pickup of 11 yards. And then Michael Wiley in the game, 30 yards on this run. That's the last time Michael's going to carry the ball. We want him to, to, to go over 1,000 yards in the season. He needed about 10 yards, so... After he picked that up, we took him out of the ball game. You're going to see Jonathan Wells come in here, though, number 28. Now, this is a fullback. This is Jamar Martin. Jamar Martin, a little trap player. <laughs> First touchdown for the two freshmen. Canton McKinley High School. You can see how happy he is, number 39. Jamar, Jamar's really had a good, solid freshman year for us. And then David Mitchell keeping the pressure on defensively comes off the corner. Well, David off the corner. Got a little cowboy rush right there. David, David uh, got him a sack. We're playing all the young players right there, as you can see. Matt Navarro, of course, is not a young player, but that's he, he got in the ball game number 48. And my good buddy Hayden. I, I don't know if that'll be his last game at uh, home for Iowa or not, but I think he's an outstanding football coach. Absolutely, kind of a tough way for that coach to go out, but uh, you know, you're not going to give any of them back, right? We're not going to give any of them back. I, uh, Hayden, uh, Hayden's only beaten us one time. I'm proud of that. That's right. That's right. One of your mentors, I guess. That's exactly uh, right. I really got a lot of respect for him. He's coached. There's only been three coaches in the history of college football. Jeff has coached more football games than, than Hayden Fry. 200 plus wins. Yeah. And uh, Buckeyes roll up over 600 yards of total offense. 1996, second game of the season against Pittsburgh, was the last time you ran up numbers like that. Well, it was important to have the kind of balance that we had in the ball game. And uh, you know, again, any, any time they're going to rush you like they like they they tried to, I thought I thought Joe Germain and I thought our wide receivers did an outstanding job. I thought they run a lot better routes in the ball game this week. Mm -hmm. Anytime they play you man coverage, you got to get open and catch the football. And of course, David Boston, being the great athlete he is, really gave us some big plays in the game. Over 300 yards on both sides of the ball, rushing the ball and throwing the ball, and defensively getting the job done as well. Particularly in the second half, I think we held them about 25 total yards yeah. offense in the second half. So it's important to to really come out of this ball game with a lot of confidence. Uh, as far as I know, we didn't get any serious injuries in the game, so get a little momentum going.